He's got them all. Who yeah, has his fate in his hands, and he has two sixes oh, yeah. in his hand at and present on the button. So You're not going to have to worry He's about He's like 100k that. ahead of me. <laughs> Thank you. That's not going to be changed. Opens for min raise and Seidel. <laughs> we'll start things off with an ace king. Very jammable. In it right. goes. Two days to think about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, and sixes. Oh, Davies no. is going to give him a spin. Off to the races. Seth can well afford yeah, to yeah, take funny. this chance. <laughs> Two days thing. What am I calling with? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, try to burst the bubble sense. here in the very <laughs> first hand. And I actually to think had this, this final table. I, was like, exactly. I actually had it exactly. Because you know it's going to be this hand. These right. Positions. If he jams, this is what I'm calling with. This is what I'm folding. Uh, I had that, that's it. very fucking funny. <laughs> Davies, an 11 percent favorite to do the rest of the field a big favor. Like, how often do you get two days to decide on a spot like that? And I also thought about what do I do against your under the flop. King Jack Jack Seidel. Leaping into the lead by a wide Here's margin. The hard way. Six, six, six to first. Six, six, six on the river. No six on the turn. And will Seidel get an early double here at this final table? The answer is yes. As the Ten of Hearts rolls off and will deliver an 850k pot oh, his way. And nice. now Davies with a couple of jacks. Might this be a turning point? Working off of sub-20 big blinds. Shoots it up to 60,000. Not the size, 2.4, some oh. odd in Omai. Well, it does go in. Here it is. It's been a horrid start for, uh, for Seth. Call. Holly. Yeah. <laughs> Snap calls and has shown the aces. Speaking of run bats, Daniel has been on a public sort of, you know what I mean? Also talking about running bats. Yeah, a couple and so of years, forth, so I think he's. Somebody has to win this one, so to speak. Here we are. This Aces for Daniel Jacks for uh, Seth. Stone bubble here. 50K. off as last time. Well, the silver lining for Davies is he so has Negranu covered, but obviously he has already doubled not one but two players. Jack, Jack. Oh. oh, on this I knew occasion, in my heart, though. I was like, sure. You know, I can feel it. I can genuinely feel it. Yeah. Do you think you're going to get a sweat for a oh, we have an no, early I mean, like, stand. Week, 18 He's... people went all in on the bubble, and they're 18 and 0. I was 0 and 3. <laughs> the fortunate you knew it son. Too, huh? You felt it? Yeah. Is Davies. Right. I think you're getting a sweat for a chop. What's that? Negranu does not get the chop sweat. sweat. For a chop, but yeah, yeah. They did you. Oh, boy. Poker's all skill, boys. I promise. <laughs> oh, here we are. He has his bag on. <laughs> Beverages have the, been uh, collected. Been Two outs once for Negranu to avoid being the stone bubbler. GG. GG. Survive a diamond. Yeah, that's sword. what I expected, actually. Fucking unreal. All right, let's go. Scotty with 10 10, a lot of fan in the small blind, comes with 3x. Peter with a highly continuable one, Jack 8 suited. Post flop affair upon us. You know Scott is leaning on him wide. There might be ideas for Makita beyond call. But he does wisely take a flop. 175 in the middle, shades on. Troublesome start for Makita. Naturally, middle pair with the back door. The over pair for Seaver. Seaver from the small, open to 75. Bats now with second pair after defending from the big, facing a follow through of 105,000. Oh, what a card that is, Ali. The straight flush draw now for Makita. Top set for Scotty. All in. Oh, another uh, thing for Makita. Yeah, here we are. So, 275. Pop should be three. Pop Good luck, gentlemen. So, somewhat predictably, the extra 640,000 finds its way into the middle in a pivotal We're 1 good. million chip yep. plus pot. Yeah. yeah. Or Batsy Akuski's fate pot. hangs in the balance. 32% equity. Seven. Doesn't appear stressed about it. Here it comes. Oh, Jeffrey Jacks. on the river, but not and enough. And eights, not going to be enough as Seaver extends the hand. And the Belarusian 
Adding to his career tournament total, a modest sum of 92,500 in his grand scheme, but nevertheless, the right side of the bubble. Um, I think we jam as the clear bottom of our offsuit oh, ASX. Seth would tend to agree as he declares all in. Uh, Seaver's decision easy, is, Coons not so uh, much. Actually, a little less. He'll see the bad news moment. Yeah. Really. Really. Good luck, gentlemen. 285. The call always felt like it was uh, that's very sad. a foregone conclusion and yeah. sad indeed. Is how 874 is far from magical. Five hearts. Instead, it's a queen, right color, wrong suit for Chopportunity. And it is down to three outs once as the bell tolls and the light flickers for Seth Queen's Davies. Way out, right? Yeah. One of only two players at this final table who were eligible to take down the overall Poker Masters title. And the ace on the Indeed, end leaves him out nice kicked run. as his oh, run comes to an end, but not before oh. yielding Take her down, buddy. some profit. Suited here, being showered with praise by his colleagues and returning the favor with a three bet. 225K over the 65K open off of two sixes. Queen 10 shrivels. Six, seven back. Weird spot with a couple of sixes for Kuhn, is it not? Oh my goodness. Puts the rest of it on request. And that 675 happily sails into the middle for Mateos. Call never an option for Kuhn there? I'm gonna show Seth how to win this. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why the student's not quite yet ready to become the master. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thinking on it, Ali, not that clear. I'm does. sorry that I can't just. I think everyone's been winning a lot more of these than he has the past couple of years. Well, Huge flip's coming. Yeah. Coming with an all-in, chances are it's an objective, yeah. he's, he's and correct decision. Lately. Yeah. Oh, has he? Oh, yeah. well, that's right. I didn't know that. That's yeah. And he is ahead of the ace king until the flop. King way. seven five. As Kuhn says he's going to have to do it the hard way. Backdoor straightiness is available. Three. Is that hard enough? Four. Easy. Okay, easy then. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, no straight draw here. As Kuhn's going to have two outs once. Mateos sitting pretty to haul in 1.86 and slide into second. River card is a queen and the ace king yeah. will double through. Exactly. Great stuff. Yeah. Mateos, queen nine suited, smothered by the king queen of Seaver, who defends. He slipped it to him, all right. And Mateos, just south of a third. And for Scott, we can go both ways, although uncomfortable. Raise is an idea. Comes with call, which is very appealing as well. Not so appealing, perhaps, the ace of hearts on the turn. No, Seaver I, checks again, having picked up the Broadway draw. Three, then. Comes with a small over bet and with so much interaction for Seaver. I think we go for the begrudging call a lot of the time here. But a very dicey spot. Seaver hanging in there, calling the 310. This one's swelling quickly. And the clubs come in for Mateos on the river. Operating off of 1.3 with 900 in the middle. 325. 325. Wow, what an interesting size he got. I was just not expecting not an all-in size. Just north of third. That's exciting. Maybe that means I'll do it. Oh. I was sure you were jamming here. Pretty good spot for me to jam, Amati. Pretty good spot. Yeah, it's fine. I, I'm going to know they're coming.
It's the Milky Way here, Ollie. Yep. You know? Adrian took him to the uh, to the way. Really good spot for me to jam it. Why didn't you jam? If you're gonna bet like 120 on the turn, why wouldn't you just also jam 120 on the turn? Very nice, sir. Fair play to both men, Ollie. Nice hearing Scotty on the end I there. Jammed. Well, <laughs> over pair up against the gut shot. Oh. All right, fine, buddy. Oh. All right, when you're paying full price out here at Crystals with tax, don't give me an envious gl glance. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna load up. Goes for call. And yeah. A time bank. Mm -hmm. Another 180 into the middle. Pot begins to grow, and now the four of diamonds pairs the board, but does deliver the diamond draw backdoor addition to Seidel. Interesting spot, 300 in the middle. 300. Comes with full pot. 300. It isn't as if Seidel has to have it. And for Eric, call or raise both seem like options. Does come with call, which seems a little bit comfier. Nine hundred thousand in the middle. Three to one favorite for Mateo. So oh. the flush does come in for Mr. Seidel. Took his chances with the gutter and the flush draw, calling full pot and being rewarded handsomely. And now the two eights. In a very awkward situation as Seidel is left with one SPR. And he does put him in, and of course Seidel will be calling, and what a great pickup this will be for Eric. Adrian sees the bad news, Ali. Jammed it in there. Seidel, once he made the call, always rated to be in front of the two eights. I would imagine Mateos... Didn't feel great about it. Rolling. And oh Mateos my. is going to jam the ace 10, looking to put that ICM pressure perhaps on Kuhn Seidel with the small stack of Seidel, oh my goodness. which wakes up with an ace queen in the big. Quite big jam from Adrian here, 30 BBs. Really putting pressure on that stack of Kuhn. Yeah. Looks like Seidel is in fact in, of course, Jason as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, makes the call for all of it, and yeah, Kuhn is gonna true. love Definitely. this development as not one but two aces are busy. <laughs> To Whatever the flop we place. go. Nice and tidy. Okay. Jack three deuce. Pairs Thumbs up. Three. Kuhn approves. And in this party right away. That encouraging a flop. <laughs> and once again, if Seidel is eliminated, Winter wins the jacket. Deuce on the turn, Ollie. Mm -hmm. And now, Seidel is in need of one of two remaining aces in the deck in order to claim the main pot and stay alive in the race for the jacket. Sean Winter out there, sweating it. Currently the points leader. The river is the six of clubs and that will leave us three-handed as Eric Seidel will shake hands and take home fourth place. This could become very relevant. Very much so, 15 BB just Eight south 90, jam from Seaver. Six is for Kuhn here. Yeah, he's asking for a count. Are the sixes enough? I think they are, but it's cuspy, but he's in. Yeah, Mateo's happily out. If you fall, I call too. Oh, yeah. And advising well, Jason that if I'm he gets out of there, uh, yeah. Adrian <laughs> would have given yeah, Scott the spin. So. Seaver was always going to have to try his luck with this queen jack, and he was. Been very he should have today. called also. Prepared to really do just, just that. Secure the knockout. <laughs> good luck, gentlemen. Check it down. Well, I didn't say anything about that part. We play a 1.9 million chip pot, and Six the jack really high three. board does favor Seaver. So far, so we still got a chance. Five spades? Yes. Absolutely. Really There's five. always a chance. Yeah, just a five. Is good. Mati's ah, so greedy. He's won 13 all-ins this final table. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, Backdoor right. gut shot I'm adding I see a, four outs to the two the that Kuhn had me. after being out Bro, flopped. I've, I've tried so hard with sixes. Seth tried sixes. 
No five, no six. Got the mantra for Seaver, and the oh, river geez. is a five. GG, brother. As it goes runner, Congrats runner. Satellite win. Thanks, appreciate it. Lovely. Good game, good game. GG. And Coon. Cool. See, uh, see you in the big one. Absolutely. Showers Seaver in regular, third. Five minutes or something. Scott collecting 296,000 yeah. and yeah, leaving take behind. A, take a wee myself. I need those chips. Jason Coon. Do you want to play or do you want to? And Adrian Mateos. Um, the choice to limp the suited king on the button. Just these two hands to see what might develop. Note the slippery check from Adrian, kind of protecting his range with the suited ace wheel card. Checks it over to Jason. Yeah, he's got backdoor spades and bottom pair on the cooktop. Coon, far more attractive top pair. Bets 80,000 with a check to him. Mateos proceeds. Dry three on the turn. Mateos again checking. Once again, Kuhn goes to work. Into 400,000 comes a barrel of three and a quarter. Tough spot for Adrian, I would think. No folding, but a little easier kind of from here. Looks like he is coming with call. Hope to smash the duck, if not reevaluate. Of course, the ace as well, but. Five of spades on the river. Not a card that rates to have changed anything. And none of those straight draws on the flop nor the clubs have materialized. But. And for Adrian, we just go for call sometimes yeah. here. Block ace four, block two pair. Unblock things like 10 9, perhaps. Kuhn asking for it all. This could be it if Adrian clicks call, and he has made the call incorrectly. Gets good shown game, the king. Oh, yeah. yeah, good game. Good game. Seeing the 300. And Jason Kuhn okay. is your Poker Masters main event champion, collecting $666,000. And leaving Mateos Ace Deuce. to take home 444K. Yeah. And you get a look at the only six players to collect any cash whatsoever in this main event. We began the final table with seven. Daniel Negreanu, Wood Bubble. And then it was Badziakuski on up to Kuhn. Starting with 92,500 and leaving the big bucks to Jason. Those payouts brought to you by Hair Club. And there is Daniel. Really savage departure there as he took aces up against Jax for Seth Davies. Badziakuski on the right side of the bubble. Finishing in sixth. And then it was the turn of Davies, who started second in chips on the day. Kind of a tailspin before those Jacks doubled, but in the end couldn't emerge with anything more than a fifth place finish. Four-handed went on for a long time, but eventually it was Seidel that would be sent packing, followed by Scott Siever with a third place finish, good for 296. And of course, you just bore witness to the heads up battle. And we're gonna throw it down to Jeff Platt, who is standing by with the final two. Jason, congratulations. Going to get to Thanks. you in one quick minute. Adrian, sure. what was it like to go through so many ups and downs at this final table? Yeah, well, this is tournament poker. I think <laughs> that world like this is really hard to win all the hands. So the normal thing is to lose a bunch and win a bunch. If especially if you finish this up, it's because you won, won more than lose. <laughs> <laughs> Great run at it. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very Thank much you. for the time. Hang Thank tight you. for me right here. We'll go with Thank the handshake. You. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Jason, congratulations. What Thanks. does it mean to you to come out on top of really an absolutely stacked yeah. final table? Yeah, completely loaded. And Adrian's a legend. Yeah. Uh, Getting heads up with him is never going to be an easy thing. Him and I have played each other heads up a few times. Um, so it's always nice to come on. 
Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's go big sure. picture. You are third on the, the PGT leaderboard. What do you think? I didn't know that. That's there you go. What do you think has accounted for okay, your perfect. success this well, year? Well, I haven't played many tournaments, but I guess the ones I've played have gone pretty good. Uh, the Tritons, you know, those are big buy-ins, so I assume those are big points. Um, you know, I, I've, I've played a lot less this year and hung out with my family, but when I've come to play, I've, I've really been focused. and. I feel like I've played some of my best poker this year. And finally, how important is it for you to have that, that life balance between family and poker and not be focused on cards 100%? Of yeah, I, I think that it's something, you know, I, I made a promise to my wife five years ago. I said, hey, you know, we're playing these 80-hour weeks. I'm traveling all over the place. We're never sleeping. And when we, when we get to the point that we can slow down, I will. And so I'm, I'm happy to hold up to that. That being said, we're still playing a lot of poker. I'm going to have you hold this up sure. right now. Congratulations. Okay. There Thanks, you go. Steph. All right, Ali, there's your 50K champion. It is Jason Kuhn winning the Poker Masters main event, and it's Sean Winter <laughs> winning that purple jacket. Okay. Did I get second? Did I almost get the jacket? Well, thanks, Jeff, and thanks to all of you who joined us for today's coverage of the final event <laughs> of the 2022 Poker Masters. Sean Winter, your champ, collecting $50,000, but... 666k going to Jason Kuhn and he'll be able to buy plenty of jackets for himself. On behalf of our entire crew here in Las Vegas and my partner Nick Shulman, this is Ali Najad saying thanks for joining us and we'll see you in a couple of days for the Super High Roller Bowl. Until then, see ya.